Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is about movement, choices and decisions. So you're having to make a lot of decisions about what to do next. So, um, you know, you have a lot of choice in front of you. Um, you know, you might be thinking about... This is showing a lot of movement, a lot of energy. This is the two of frauds. So you're reaching that fork in the road and you're having to move forward. And it looks like there's a partnership coming. So you've got the, um, you know, the card of, of, of um, having alliances, meeting a lot of people, uh, making a lot of friends, uh, reaching out to a lot of people on a very international basis as well. And then you've got this Ace of Pentacles over here, which is showing that, you know, things are starting to look up for you. New money is coming in. You're building on really uh, strong foundations and things are starting to move forward for you. Finally, uh, you might, you can see there's a card about a, meeting a lot of people as well. You've got both these cards about hands. So you're going to be, you know, collaborating with a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people meeting a lot of new people making a lot of new friends and you will have a lot of decision to make uh you know uh, about what to do and which way to go so maybe there's a lot more on offer than you expected and there's a lot of choice that is coming your way right now doors are starting to open for you now in the past you've been dealing with a lot of heartache and loss uh it looks like uh you know there has been uh, uh you know maybe there was a breakup uh, this is definitely uh, a card of heartbreak and it's led to a lot of transformation for you. So you've actually had to cut out that past and move forward. This is the death card and this is usually cutting out things that were no longer serving you. So whatever happened, maybe there was a breakup of a relationship and this led to a lot of heartache and ache and a lot of loss it means that you have actually now focused more on your work you are now building very very strong foundations over here you've got the firm foundation cards over here and uh, you can see um you know uh you are overcoming obstacles over here and you're taking control back of your life again and then you've got the full card over here which is new beginnings starting so you might be traveling as well quite a bit over here you can see this woman standing on the world so you are rising above the situation and doors are starting to open for you you've got that door behind you over there so it looks like you're going to be making new decisions whatever this decision that is coming in this movements choices and decisions card it's going to take you out of the situation and bring you uh into uh you know a more of an international arena and you're going to be meeting a lot of people um you know and a lot of money and new money will be coming in so there's some new job coming in over here uh it's going to be something that's stable and long term because you've got this four of um this is the four of pentacles really it's a, it's a it's a card of really firm foundations uh, and it's all you know based in finance so you know you are getting that strength back and it's a new beginning for you so you're taking that leap of faith and you're going forward uh, very positively so those are the energies for that week Okay, so this is the um, Tower of Ascension, and I'm going to do the main read with it. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Temperance card, and this is balance and healing and, you know, using all your skills and talents uh, to move yourself forward. So you have got new insight, new ideas, and you are now starting to move. The Temperance card is also ruled by Sagittarius. So this is like moving on an international basis, travel, uh, mind expansion. So you are changing your view views of the world. You are becoming more ethnocentric where you are thinking about the bigger picture rather than focusing on yourself. And you're getting that balance back again in your life. So uh, you've got the Knave of Wands over here and the High Priestess over here. So you are making some firm plans for the future over here. You're sitting down and you're considering everything and you're, um, you're formulating a plan for the future. You're taking control back in your life. This Knave of Wands is um, a card about movement. It could be a card about travel. Maybe you're making plans about travel, communication, meeting people. But you're definitely sitting back and thinking quite deeply about what you want to do in the future. And you're being very proactive. This man is in red, so he's really... You know, he's not sitting 
uh, down and doing nothing. He's actually being very, very proactive, you know, with these thoughts, maybe with whom you're communicating, but you're definitely going to be moving forward, it seems. Maybe you want to travel. You've got the high priestess over here. Maybe you are thinking about doing some further study as well with this high priestess. It's usually about further study, finding the keys, um, you know, she's the keeper of knowledge, so you are maybe planning on specializing in what you're doing, and, um, you know, you want to become almost like a guru, a teacher, and, you know, you have some new insights and new visions as well. So this is about maybe you, you're planning on doing some further learning or even further traveling um, in order for you to move forward. Now, the Ten of Swords, whatever happened in the past, you're burying it. You're putting it behind you. It was a very difficult situation that you deal with. There might have been some legal issues that you dealt with, but whatever it was, it really, you know, the Ten of Swords is a card about... Uh, being completely slaughtered, really, in that particular situation. So whatever you dealt with uh, was very difficult. You dealt with very difficult people. There was a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt, uh, a lot of lies being spoken as well, and now you've put that in the past. So you can't, you've decided, you know, you can't really resurrect it, and you're moving forward. You've got the King of Pentacles over here, so you're taking control as far as your finance goes. Uh, you might have come through a lot of financial loss, but now you're recovering from it in this last few months. And you're getting control back of your financial situation. So, uh, you know, you're handling finances. You might be in a job situation now where you're in control or you're a person that's in charge of that situation. So uh, maybe an authority position as well. You could also well be dealing with a person, who, uh, you know, this is usually a business person. Or this is also dealing with somebody who is up there in higher education. So uh, there's some authority figure that you are dealing with or you are taking authority over that situation. But it definitely shows that you have your financial independence coming back to you again. Uh, so on your mind, you've got the sun card over here. So you want things to change for the better. Uh, it looks like, you know, you are putting in a lot of hard work and effort into what you're doing. And you want to start a brand new um something brand new. This is also that you could be reconciling with somebody from your past as well. Well, you could even be thinking about taking a holiday <laughs> you know, in the sun. So, uh, you know, this is about something new coming in, some new energy coming in and having a new insight into what you want to do. So you've got the four of pentacles over here. So this is establishing some firm foundations, uh, you know, uh, reviewing the past, uh, looking at what you've accumulated, maybe assessing uh, all your um, assets as well uh, and, uh, you know, laying down that firm foundation. This could also be, you know, you might be thinking about buying a new home, uh, you know, setting up uh, a, a permanent uh, residence somewhere as well and also making sure that you're not overspending uh, so you are watching your money quite carefully as well so you've got the two of wands over here so you are making uh, a lot of plans and a lot of decisions uh, maybe you are collaborating with somebody uh, but you are definitely making uh, plans for the future over here it looks like you've reached that crossroads in your life and you are deciding on how you're going to move forward and where you're going to put your energies in so it looks like it is the new job coming in new money coming in as well with this ace of pentacles so something brand new that's going to bring in a lot of victory and a lot of happiness for you so um you know you are starting something new that if that could well be a new offer coming in for you so you've got the eight of wands over here so you want things to start moving uh you know you want to take control of that situation it looks like here again you want to do uh, pursue some kind of avenue of study or specialization as well you want things to start moving and you have a lot of information to give it may be you that you want to train some people up as well so maybe you want to be take on that form of being a mentor or a teacher uh where you you know give um, out your um your skills or you uh, train people up uh, in their skills. So maybe that's what you're hoping for in the future. So the final outcome, you've got the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So the Eight of Swords is, uh, you know, feeling a bit trapped in a situation, uh, maybe feeling like you have no control, maybe feeling a little disempowered as well. And it's also due to anxiety, you know, being very anxious about things, being in your head too much as well. With the Eight of Pentacles, it's about, this is, you know, you're trying to like I said, take on that role of being a mentor or a teacher or even specialize in what you're doing. So you definitely want to put out a lot of information. You're getting paid on the job. So you're learning as well as being a teacher. So you're training people up and you're learning as well. So it seems like that's the role that you will be taking up soon. Now you've got the justice card over here. So you could well even be dealing with some kind of legal situation as well, or even trying to find that balance. Uh, you've got that yin yang in that 
bowl over there so you can see that you're trying to find that balance between your work and your social life maybe that's what you're trying to do but this could also be that you're waiting for some kind of uh, decision you could also while well, be signing some papers legal documents making signing new contracts especially if you've got a new job coming in for your you it looks like you will be signing new contracts and it looks like you will be collaborating with somebody as well so something brand new coming in as a role as a teacher, uh, you know, try not to let your negative, any negative thoughts control how you think and move forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Angel Tarot and this is for the Oracle read. So it looks like there's a new job coming in for you. You've got the Ace of Earth and that's followed by the World card. Now this is the inflow of abundance, the promising new business venture and important documents or contracts. So there's something legal that you will be signing. The World card also rules work because it's ruled by Saturn. It says a job well done, contentment and gratitude, a path towards enlightenment. So it looks like there is some, you know, there's legal documents, new contracts to be signed over here and a new job starting up for you. And this might be a job that involves some kind of teaching, some kind of training of other people then you've got the six of water over here which says memories are from your history or childhood issues regarding children and romanticizing the past so you could well be teaching children or people that are younger than you and this is the new contract that you will be signing so taking on that teacher role as well you could also be bumping into people from your past you could be dealing with things uh, that involve uh, children you know maybe even your children as well but the world card is also talking about maybe you're traveling a lot and learning a lot uh, but next to the earth um, Ace of Earth, it looks like there's something brand new that is starting off on the work front. Uh, it might involve dealing with a past, a past person or a past situation, um, or it might involve children as well. So you're starting a brand new cycle as well, and you're taking on a very, very, uh, you know, um, mentoring role as well and even with the sun card it's dealing with children here so you could well be dealing with younger people training up younger people taking on that teacher role the sun card is also about you know travel as well um and you're waiting to some some kind of documents soon so this is a brand new job making new plans over here and being more established than you have been in the past and you're moving on you're getting your balance back again and you are moving on into something better so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.